Okay, so in this video, I'm gonna talk about why or why not you should attend trainings, quote unquote, at independent adjusting firms starting now. This is Adjuster TV, adjusters first. This video is sponsored by Hague Education. Use code ADJUSTERTV to get a 15% discount on damage assessment, CE training, industry certifications, books, and tools at HaigueEducation.com. Hey, Matt here with Adjuster TV, and in this video, I wanna talk about, should you go to independent adjuster, tr independent adjusting firm trainings um, that it, each individual adjusting firm has? So. Just to kind of give you a little backstory on this, um, what you may be seeing out on social media is that people will say, well, you don't have to pay for formal training like at Adjuster TV, the Fast Track Deployment Program, or to MoCat, or to Veteran Adjusting School, or to Vail Training Solutions, or to Caddy, or to whatever, right? You, you don't have to pay anything. You're gonna see people out there saying that you can just get into this for free, right? And you can try, you can certainly try and do that. But the problem is, is that that's when, and they'll say, the reason why they'll say that you can do that is because, well, just, you could just go to, you know, Alacrity's uh, independent adjuster training. Alacrity has trainings for adjusters all the time. Crawford has trainings for adjusters all the time. And they really do. They have, all these companies have trainings. Pilot has claims college, right? They have all these um, resources for you as an adjuster. And in a lot of cases, especially with these big companies, they may not even be willing to give you any work or claims unless you've gone through their trainings, right? I want to caution you, and, and, I'm, and I'm in no way am I trying to say here that the IA firm trainings at any IA firm are not good or that they're incomplete in some way. But really, the overall point of those particular trainings is to sort of indoctrinate you into the pilot way of doing things. And it may be combined with a carrier certification, right, like Allstate or State Farm. And the same thing goes with Crawford and so on and so forth. This, These are the qualities that... Uh, we embody here at our IA firm, and we want to make sure that you understand those so that when you out in the field that you're representing us as an IA firm um, to a very, very high standard, right? That's a lot of what those trainings are about is that absolutely they're going to teach you, adjust your skills, you're going to learn some Xactimate, so on and so forth, right? But for, and I, this, is, this is why I will tell you that you have to do those, right? And they may be free or they may be very, very low cost. But you have to get some like trade school level training of your own, right? You have to take things kind of into your own hands with this. Your success is going to depend on how prepared you are, not by, and, and that, that will depend on how willing you are to go after that, that, that level of preparedness, right? And it's not going to, your success isn't going to be predicated on, well, you know, I, I went through Claims College or I went through Crawford's thing or I went through Alacrity's, ABC's, you know, of adjusting thing. Um, those things, you could kind of think of those as, as, as solid trainings, but if you show up to those trained, you're going to get a lot more out of those trainings. You're going to be light years ahead of everybody else around you who's still trying to, they're taking the wrapper off their laptop and trying to figure out where the on button is, let alone, I don't even know what Xactimate is, right? You're not gonna be that person, you're gonna be the person who's got the, 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 the beginnings of the chops down, right? The, the, the basic skills. And these companies are, they, they also use these events, right? This is something that not everybody knows. I say it all the time and still people don't know it. They use those events, those trainings, as recruiting events, right? So if you show up and you're like sitting in the back of the room and you're asking, you know, um, I have an HP, I think it's an HP, and I can't figure out how to turn my computer on, you're probably not, you're probably gonna be at the bottom of the list. I'm sorry to say it, but you're not showing up to something, you're not sh showing that you're serious about this. If you show up and you crack your laptop open, and your first question out of your mouth is, is you know, I was working with, on, with the Vertex tool here and I couldn't get it to do, uh, you know, I wanted to try and get it to do this different angle and I, and I couldn't get a door on it. Can you help me with that, right? Well, you have somebody's attention there because you actually have 
put some time in to learn to, to get started learning Xactimate before you even showed up to this thing. And if you're asking good questions, your 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 attendance these you know to daily to the, the things is great. You are kind of sneaking over during breaks and being like, hey, I just wanted to introduce myself. I do have a level two certification. I went to MoCAD and I'm really excited about this. I'm learning a lot from your training. And it's really you know filling in the blanks of everything else that that I learned from other trainings. Um, I'm very I'm really excited to, to get on your roster. Right. My name's Matt. Then goes back and sit down. You know, when the class resumes, they're going to remember you. So, I would say attend these these conference or these uh, all of them to all any company that you want to work for. Go hobnob, but show up prepared for sure. If you want to watch the rest of this episode where I answer other questions ad free, as well as get access to a members only segment question and answer, head on over to adjustertvplus.com and become a member right now.